Hi Middle 3. Still talking about algebra and still talking about Cartesian product relations and functions. And we had gone deep with functions. And we know something called polynomial function. And today we will study some special cases of the polynomial function or some kinds of the polynomial function. Today we will study three cases of this function. The first case is called linear function. Linear function. And it's noted from its name that if I represent this function graphically, it will be line. It will draw a line. So it's called linear function. So how can I represent linear function algebraically? First, we must know that the function f r to r from real numbers to real numbers. So the domain and the codomain are real numbers, so it's polynomial function. And I can express a linear function as fx equals ax plus b, where a belong to the real numbers except 0, as I want to save the term containing x power 1. So a can be any real number except 0. So this form ax plus b is called linear function. Or I can simplify these words and say that a linear function is a polynomial function of the first degree. First degree, let's remember, because the highest power of the variable x is 1. So the linear function is a polynomial function of the first degree. This is the simplest definition of the linear function. Like that, function of x equals x minus 1. This is a function from the first degree, so I can call it linear function. Also, 2x plus 1 is a polynomial function from first degree, so it's also a linear function. And also, fx equals 2, uh, 3x, this is also a polynomial function from the first degree. So all these three functions are polynomial functions from the first degree, so I can call them linear function. And now let's talk about representing linear function graphically. I want to draw this function graphically on the Cartesian graph. From its name, it's noted that the graph of the function will be a straight line. Its name is linear function, so it will be represented by a straight line. And let's think about something. This straight line, straight line extended in two direction, so it will intersect with x-axis and y-axis. If I want to determine the point of intersection with x-axis, let's take with an example. If I have fx equals ax plus b, okay, so the image of x will be determined by a relation ax plus b. Okay. 
when I want to find the intersection point of this straight line with x axis. So this point located on the x axis and any point on the x axis have a y coordinate equals 0. So I can say that ax plus b equals 0. So x equals negative b over a. So the point will be negative b over a and 0. Also the intersection point with y axis, any point located on y axis, it's x equals to 0. So I will say that y equals 0 plus b equals b. So the point will be z, uh, 0 and b. So the intersection point with y axis will be 0 and b. And the intersection point with x axis will be negative b over a and 0. You can save these two formulas or you can think about this in every problem. And we know that we can draw a straight line by determining two points, only two points. So when I want to draw a line representing this function, I only want to find two ordered pair. But for insurance of my correction, I will draw three points. And I will be sure that my draw is right and correct if these three points are collinear. If these three points are not collinear, collinear, so I will know that I had made a mistake. Okay, okay. Now, how can I do that? Let's explain that from this example. In this example, you want me to graph the function f x equals two x minus three. Okay. To graph this linear function, we want to determine three ordered pairs by assuming any three values of x to get the values of, f of fx or to get the values of the image of these three values. So I have the function rule which is 2x minus 3 and I will assume f of 0 so it will be 0 minus 3, so it will be negative 3. So the first ordered pair will be 0 and negative 3. Just assuming any values of x and find its image. So you will have your ordered pair to locate on the graph paper and then connect between this ordered pair. You will have a straight line representing the linear function. Let's continue. I will find the function of 1. It will be 2 times 1 equals 2 minus 3, negative 1. So the next order pair will be 1 and negative 1. Also, I will find the function of 2, and it will be 4 minus 3 equals 1. So the third ordered pair will be 2 and 1. Now, what if, what if, any person take any other three points like f90 and f100 and f1032. If I find the image of all these values and represent it on the graph paper, I will have the same straight line which represented by these three ordered pair I have in the first time. Okay. Now my function is 2x minus 3 and I have 
my three ordered pair to be located on the graph paper and I know I know that these three ordered pair will draw a straight line because it's a polynomial function from the first degree or simply I can call it linear function so this will be my drawing I locate 0 and negative 3 and 1 and negative 1 2 and 1 and connect between these two these three ordered pair to have my straight line which represent the linear function and I know that my drawing is correct because these three points are collinear and draw one straight line and now if I want to find the intersection point with y axis I have two ways to determine this point the first one is to determine the intersection point with y and x axis from the graph itself and here in this example it's so easy to determine that the intersection point with y axis is 0, negative 3 and the intersection point with x axis is one and half is uh, one and half and zero. Okay, but in some examples it's not so clear, and for our bad luck, it's not hitting the y the y axis and x axis in uh, 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 in some determined points. So I have another way to determine the intersection point with y axis and x axis by the rule we talked about it before. I said that the intersection point with y axis equal to 0 and b, and the intersection point with the x axis equals to negative b over a and 0. So the line intersection with the x-axis in point 0, b, which is 0 and negative 3. And remember, b, you will have b with its sign. So 0 and negative 3. Okay. And the intersection point with x-axis will be negative b over a and 0, which is 3 over 2 and 0. And that's correct because the drawing telling us the same values. Now, in any linear function, like uh, 3x, okay, 3x is a linear function, but in this function, the value of b equals 0. So, know that when the linear function have one term, one Term like 3x so its line will pass with the origin point 0 and 0 why? why? first if I draw it I will find that it's passing through the origin point and if I want to find the intersection point with y axis so the intersection point will be 0 and b, and here I have b equals 0, so the intersection point will be 0 and 0. And if I want to have the intersection point with x axis, which is rule is negative b over a and 0, and I have b equal 0, so it will be 0 and 0 too. So this function represented by a straight line passing through the origin point ok now I have the second case or the second type of the function which is called constant function and from its name constant function I think it has no variable it has no variable 
So the function from R to R, R is real numbers, fx equals b, just b. There is no variable in this function where b belongs to R, real numbers is, is called constant function. Like what? Like f of x equals negative 1. Here I have no variable, just absolute term, negative 1. Okay, so I called it constant function because, however, x change its image still negative 1. If I put here x equals 0, so the function of 0 equals negative 1. F, x, uh, f of 1 equals negative 1. F of 2, negative 1. F of 1 million, negative 1. F of 1 billion, negative 1. F of whatever equals negative 1. So, however, x changed, its image will be constant, negative 1. So, I called it constant function. Like that, the function of x equals 5. And now, let's see how to represent the linear function graphically. Okay, I will have a straight line 2 and will be parallel to x axis. Will be parallel to x axis. And pass through the point 0 and b. 0 and b, this is the intersection point with the y axis. It will not intersect with x axis as it's parallel to it. Now, if I have fx equals b, if b more than 0, so whatever the value of x is, the image of x will be the same value which is b. So when b equals uh, a positive number, so f1 will be the positive number, f2 positive number, f3 positive number. And to represent these three points, okay, so I will represent it by a straight line crossing the y-axis in the point 0 and b, as we said before, and parallel to x axis. So when b more than 0, so this line will be above the x axis as its positive images. Like that. Any value of x will be constant positive number. And when b smaller than 0, okay, so the line will be below the x axis. And if b equals 0, so the line consonant with x axis passing through 0 and 0, it will be on the x axis itself like that and will pass with 0 and 0 the erosion point this is the constant function. and the last type of this function which called quadratic function quadratic function simply is a function from the second degree and we can represent it as ax squared plus bx plus c where a where a belong to the real numbers and a doesn't equals to zero b and c belong to the real number and it's not important than b equals zero or not so finally it's a polynomial function of the second degree like what x squared minus one here I have uh, b equals 0, 
function of x equal to x square plus 3x minus 1. It's a polynomial function from the second degree, so it's a quadratic function. Also, 6 minus x squared plus x. It's a quadratic function as it's a polynomial function from the second degree. Okay. And now we want to represent the quadratic function graphically. But first, let's read this paragraph. Knowing that the domain of the quadratic function is a set of real numbers. And it's noted because the quadratic function originally is a polynomial function, so its domain is a set of real numbers. So we should represent a certain interval by determining sum of ordered pairs. In the problems, uh, I will have given an interval to determine the x values and its images to have my ordered pairs and then we'll locate these ordered pairs on the graph paper and connect between them and I will have a curve I will have a curve passing through these ordered pairs to represent the quadratic function Let's see that. Here. I have a function said that fx equals x squared, where x belongs to the interval negative 3, 2, 3. This is a function from the second degree, so it's quadratic function. Okay, I want to represent this function graphically during the interval from negative 3 to 3. From negative 3 to 3. So I will take every integer in this interval as x and will calculate its image by the rule f x equals x square so I will have some ordered pairs then locate these ordered pairs on the graph paper and connect between them to see my curve like that for every x I have fx when x equals negative 3 so fx equals 9 because fx equals x squared and negative 2 its image is 4 negative 1 its image 1 0 will be 0 1 and 1 2 and 4 3 have an image of 9 so every x and its image, which is fx, can form it an ordered pair. By locating this ordered pair on the graph paper, I will have this curve. Let's see the other function, the another function, fx equals negative x squared where x belongs to the same interval which is negative 3 and 3 and by calculating the images of x so I will have some ordered pairs like negative 3 and negative 9 negative 2 and negative 4 negative 1 and negative 1 0 and 0 and so on as we see in this table and by representing this ordered pair on the graph paper I will have this curve okay this is the shape of the curve which represent the quadratic function it must be like this curve okay 
and now I want to talk deeply about each curve I have previously. This function, which said, said that fx equals to x squared, where x represented in the interval or during the interval negative 3 to 3, and I have this table of my ordered pairs and my drawing curve like that. I have some points to talk in this curve and this function. But first we must note that fx equals x squared. This is a quadratic function and the coefficient of x squared equals 1, positive 1. So we will talk about this curve or this function while the coefficient of x squared more than 0 or positive value. What we will see? We will see four things. First, curve is symmetric with respect to y axis. Is that right? Is that right? Yes, that's right. The y axis here, like the axis of symmetry. Okay. The point 0 and 0, the origin point, is the point of the vertex. This curve have a vertex point. A vertex point is the point that the curve change its direction. Okay? And the curve here change its direction just after he passed through the point 0 and 0. So the point 0 and 0 called the point of the vertex. And this point here in this curve is the minimum value of the curve. There is no less image than this point. And all curve lies up this point. And we can say that the minimum value of the function is 0. We can notice that from the graph and notice that from the table. During this interval, the lowest or the minimum value of the function is 0. The minimum value of fx equals 0. The curve is open upwards and the function has a minimum value point which is 0 and 0. So, When I'm talking about a quadratic function and the coefficient of x squared is a positive number, so I must know something. First, this curve is open upwards and have a minimum value point. And the whole curve lies up this minimum value. That's all. And every curve represent quadratic function have an axis of symmetry. This axis of symmetry passing through the point of the vertex. The point of the vertex here is the minimum point in the curve and it's the point which the curve is changing its direction just before, just after passing through this point. Now let's see 
the other function which was fx equals negative x square during the same interval and we determined our values in this table and drew our curve like that here the coefficient of x square is less than zero so we will talk about the same points we talked before but in this case when the coefficient of x square is a negative value first this curve also have the y-axis as the axis of symmetry the point 0 0 is the point of the vertex because the curve changed its direction just after passing this point and this point is the maximum point here is a maximum point of the curve because the whole curve lies below this point the maximum value of this function is zero and we can notice that also from the curve and from the values in the table the maximum value of fx equals to zero the curve is open downwards and the function has a maximum value point so when representing a quadratic function I have two cases depending on the coefficient of x squared if this coefficient more than zero so the curve is open upwards and have minimum minimum value okay and if the coefficient of x square is negative value so the curve will be open downwards and have a maximum value point here is an example like the problems we will have in the exam you want me to graph the following function fx equals x square minus 2x minus 3 and x belong to the interval negative 2 and 4 first this is a quadratic function so I know my drawing will be a curve this curve open upwards or downwards I will look to the coefficient of x square it's more than zero so it will be open upwards and it will have minimum value point so to graph this function I will use every integer in the interval from negative 2 to 4 to have the image of x so I will have this table then I will represent every ordered pair in this table on the graph paper to draw my curve which will be like that till now it's so easy now he want me to find the point of the vertex of the curve the point of the vertex is the minimum value here or the point where the curve change its direction and it's noted from the graph it's 1 and negative 4 so the point of the vertex is 1 and negative 4 okay the second request you want me to find the equation of the line of symmetry the line of symmetry is a line parallel to y axis and passing through the point of the vertex so its equation will be x equals 1 that's all always the equation of the axis of symmetry be like that x equals a number this number is the intersection point 
of the uh, x axis with the axis of symmetry and the axis of symmetry is a straight line parallel to y axis and passing through the point of the vertex the third request he asked me the maximum or minimum value of the function here it's a minimum value of the function because the all oh, the whole curve lies upwards or uh, lies over the uh, point of the vertex and so uh, so the minimum value of the function equals to negative 4 this is the lowest image recorded in the table and the lowest y coordinate in the curve now let's have another example he want me to graph the function negative x square plus 3x plus 2 where x belong to negative 1 and 4 this is quadratic function so it will be a curve okay but the coefficient of x square is lower than 0 so the curve will be open downwards and have a maximum value so as we did in the previous example we will calculate our images like that we will take x as every integer in the interval from negative 1 to 4 so I will have negative 1 0 1 2 3 4 and calculate every image of it from the rule of the function and then represent it graphically so I will have a curve like that and he wants to calculate the maximum or minimum value of the function okay from the table from the table I cannot determine the minimum value of fx because I have two fours the, sorry the maximum value of fx because I have two values equals to four so which of them is bigger no one but the curve the curve have a vertex point this vertex point okay have a value more than 4 and it's noted on the graph so how can I calculate that by finding by finding the average x coordinate between 1 and 2 so it will be one and a half and by substituting every x in the function rule with one and a half will have its image so it will be 17 over 4 or I can use this formula and I don't prefer that just look to the curve and think and think the image of 1 equals 4 the image of 2 equals 4 but from the curve I noted that the image of 1 and the image of 2 is not the vertex of the curve the curve the curve after one still going higher till we reach to the midpoint between one and two so the x coordinate for the vertex point is one and half and from this x coordinate which is one and half i will put every x in the function rule and substitute every x with one and half to find 
its image or to find fx so the point of vertex will be one and half and 17 over 4 which will be 4 and quarter and the maximum value of the function will be 4 and quarter which is the y coordinate of the uh, vertex point and now the second request find the equation of the line of symmetry first I will determine the line of symmetry which is a line parallel to y axis and passing through the point of the vertex so it will be like that and its equation will be x equals one and a half that's all representing linear function constant function and quadratic function is an amazing lesson it's so easy uh, and it didn't uh, have many steps in the exam so when you find uh, a problem in the exam like that I think it's a gift from your teacher to give you a problem like that I wish you would find that easy try to solve more and more problems and practice well thank you all goodbye